It's time for a Drew's Dozen with linebacker Kamu Gruje-Hill. And Kamu, first things first, what's going on here? This <laughs> this scares me, man. I am scared looking at oh this. Oh, my God. That's a, is that an octopus? Yeah, is that a squid? Octopus, yeah. so how, how did this all – give me the, the entire my story. My brother is like a – professional spear fisherman for like the last 20 years like he's just he's anything in the water this guy can fishing spear fishing whatever it is he's he's getting it all so uh, we'll just be at the beach and he'll just randomly like grab octopus or grab whatever and you know he, he can go out we'll we'll be at the beach and he'll be like uh, i'm gonna go grab some fish and we'll be back in like 30 minutes or he'll come back <laughs> with like all this fish he'll just cut up right there and we'll have like fresh uh sushi around the beach it's He's pretty special. But, yeah, so that picture's hilarious. Now, not to make this interview about your brother, but I'm very intrigued now. Does uh-huh. he have – does he bring his own spear with him? Does oh, he, yeah. He has, okay. I mean, he has it all. It's a, it's, it's a whole deal. Okay. And yeah. did he just – you're obviously you're here and you're talking with me, so there was nothing too uh, scary about this. What, what sort of damage, if any, could this have done to you? No, nothing. To the nothing. Octopus, it just sucks to your back, so then you just – I don't know. It's just something we always do. It's kind of fun. So it's not bad. You probably do those massages where they do the suction <laughs> cut, like cups little, from time yeah, to time, right? Yeah, it's like a little right? cupping right there. Okay. Like so getting some rehab in. Cupping courtesy of the ocean. I like it. Well, you are from Hawaii, and you know we've done this interview uh-huh. before and, and talked a lot about Spam Musubi and your pal Kaimi Fairburn, who you played soccer against yep. growing up uh, in Hawaii, and you, you said – Way back when, we all knew he was going to be in the NFL. Oh, yeah. But you're not scared of that octopus. Are there any sea creatures that do scare you? Uh, not really. No? I mean, even when you're in the water, there's, you know, you're never in the water and there's not sharks. So that's right? just something we're kind of used to. I mean, I mean we're not just swimming up to n- next to sharks and stuff. But Naturally. I mean, if you're going to be in the water, it's just way of life out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're, you're kind of a live and let live. You're not going to gonna uh, go after anything I, yeah. I i respect that okay name your two favorite celebrities mm. who were born on your birthday which is may 16th there's a lot of famous people that were born Are on there? that day i i actually i don't know this you don't know this i have no idea oh come on come on do you have a list for me i've got a few i've got a handful okay, okay. Me. i'll give you I'll, I'll pick out of the list the lovely megan fox oh actress <laughs> i mean that's, Pier- already, that's already one it's a good one <laughs> Pierce Brosnan, he used to play James Bond before Daniel Craig did. Um, Janet Jackson, okay, big time singer, and El Machete, Danny Trejo, the actor. Can I pick Megan Fox for both of them? Uh, <laughs> sure, if you want, if you want, yeah. Megan Fox or you? You can put Megan yeah, Fox yeah, I'll and do you. Both. Yeah, the, the, there you go, both, yeah. Megan Fox. Okay, fair enough. She's a May 16 birthday. Uh, really, really cool honor for you. At uh, your alma mater, Eastern Illinois, oh, yeah. your picture and the years you played there, and you're in a, you're in a Texans uniform, is up there next to other alumni, mm-hmm. next to uh, Mike Shanahan, mm-hmm. Hall of Famer, or should be in the Hall of Fame if he's not, Sean Payton, and then further down you got Tony Romo, Jimmy Garoppolo, yeah. some others. It, what was that like seeing that? That's got to be really, really cool. It man. was really special. You know, so me going to a small school, it just ever since I left, I just never really thought too much about it. Obviously loved my college experience, loved playing football there. It's all I knew. Um, but, you know, once I got in the league and stuff, I just, just I never had a chance to get back, and I just kind of been doing my thing. Um, and so it was literally, I'm in meetings one day, and I get a text from, like, three different guys with that picture, and I just was, I kind of just, it was one of those things where it just, it didn't hit you until you're like, I'm like, wow, like, you know, it's just a really special moment. I was I was really honored to to have that and, and be a part of that. So you got three random texts from, from old friends. Did, did Was there ever anything formal, like someone say, not, call you from the school? Not and say, really. hey, we're doing- <laughs> no, not really. That's why I was kind of like, whoa, like, hey, let's do it. That's not bad. That's not a bad way to uh, get a little pick-me-up in yeah. a meeting, is yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Well, um, what was your first job ever? My first job ever was actually in college, uh-huh. and I was washing cars. Really? So it's, we actually had this conversation that night. I went to this place because I was like, my mom was like not giving me any money. And like, um, I was like calling her every weekend. I was like, mom, I need more money, whatever. It was like for, you know, college stuff. Dumb stuff. Dumb stuff. I'm just like blowing through money. And she's like, you know what? You're done. She cuts me off. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I got to get go get a job. I go get this car washing job at this place. And it was horrible. I'm not joking. Worked there for three days. And I was like, can't do it. Can't do <laughs> why, it. Why was it bad? It was just, it. I mean, you're out in the middle of like summer just washing cars. I mean, it's, you know, there's nothing against that. But it was course, just, yeah. it was just, it was rough for me at the time. Like, you know what I mean? I'm a college student. I didn't, you know, I really didn't want to work that much. I I was, I had the mindset, like, I, I just wanted the money. Like, I sure. really didn't want to do the hard work for it. 
And then, um, so that was my first job. And like a month later, I was like, okay, fine. I have to go back. So I went back to a different place where my friend's dad owned the dealership and washed cars there for-, for That was a little step up. It was a little better. step up, yeah. So <laughs> it was, uh, so that was definitely my first job. Do you ever sit cars. back and think, boy, what must the others have thought of me then? Oh, you know? oh my gosh. The stories, we should hear- we have them all the time. Every time I'm with like college friends or high school friends, it's just it's always the number one topic. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, if you weren't a football player, what would you yeah. what would your career be? Probably just construction or something. Yeah, yeah. You good at building stuff? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not a carpenter at home no, or anything? No. No. Okay, so construction. Uh, first concert, best concert. My first concert, real concert. Because I've been to, like, Hawaii concerts, which is, like, there's, like, people, like, Hawaii famous, and mm-hmm. then there's, like... Real... Well, let's hear it. I mean... So, so my those were, you know, we have, like, bands back home, like, Ukla Lamak or, like, Ekolu or The Green, but, like, those are, like, you know, local artists. My first, like, big, big concert was actually in New England. Beyonce came to uh, Gillette it's Stadium. A big deal, yeah. Went there. That was actually one of the best... Yeah? ...concerts I've ever been to. Still to this day, and I've been to a lot now. Now were the concerts back home with the Hawaiian con- uh, Hawaiian singers and Hawaiian bands? Were they, you know, in bars, in arenas, outside? A little bit of both. They? They're kind of outside. Yeah. There's some, you know, at bars. There's some. Um, it's nothing on the scale of a Gillette Stadium, but sure, you know, still good fun. Yeah, I don't know enough Hawaiian music, yeah. but when I've been over, I like it. I uh, I have an ISIS Fiji song. Fiji is the legend over there. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is, my love. It was on in like 2012, like yeah. January 12th. It was on every fourth, fourth song on yeah. the radio when I was. It was I don't it's a doubt great it. Song. Fiji's the legend yeah. over there. Yeah. So uh, there's there's my Hawaiian music uh, <laughs> interlude. I sound like an idiot, I'm sure. So you're pretty good at spike ball. That's a, first of all, explain what spike ball is. It's It sounds much more dangerous than it actually is. No, no, no. Spike ball is basically like there's a little net, Mm -hmm. and it's like a variation of volleyball. And, I mean, I guess it's Four square kind of. Yeah, it's like four square and volleyball kind of wrapped in one. I mean, it's a big thing. Like, there's full-on tournaments. It's all. It's fun. It's all over the world now. It's awesome. Yeah. Back home, though, we only play it on the beach, which is another level. Mm Mm-hmm. Because yeah, you can dive. You can dive. There's I mean, sand. guys, there, I've seen videos. Of guys are selling out on grass. Like it's, I haven't done that one, but it's a, it's a real thing. You've got, uh, you know, you got to protect some things. Yeah. You can't just be <laughs> yeah, diving yeah. around. I mean, that's your body, yeah, it's your yeah. livelihood in a lot of ways. Yeah, so you can't sand, just yeah. sand is definitely more sand is cool. Yeah. No problem there. But yeah, uh, yeah, but I take I take recreational games very seriously. What other recreational games are you I mean, great at? We go racquetball. Okay, big racquetball. Really? So yeah, spike ball. Um, we actually got into pickleball. Mm-hmm. Pickleball is big that's back. getting really popular. Yeah, we're 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 playing pickleball a lot this summer. Um, really, I mean anything. I'm I'm taking it serious. Racquetball, I'm taking. I'm guessing is an off season thing. Maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, none none of this is happening in season. Do you? How often do you play racquetball? So we haven't played in a little while because it's been replaced with pickleball. Okay. But but when we were we, I mean, when I'm home, it's it's two or three times a week. That's a hell of a sport. Sure. That's a lot Racquetball of fun. is fun. I took that as a PE when I was in college. Yeah. Loved it. What's your favorite exercise in the weight room, and what do you hate in the weight room? Which exercise? Bench is my favorite. Okay, just flat, straight bench, with bar? Flat, flat, straight, mm-hmm. bench, straight bench. Bench and arms, any any arm, obviously. Okay. And, I mean, obviously squatting. I hate squatting. It's really interesting because I did about six of these. First six weeks yeah. of the season, every single one of your teammates, their favorite was squats. Every single no, one. No, they're such liars. No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> And then it's flipped over the last month. Most of them, and you guys don't like squats yeah. that I've interviewed. And then I've gotten like three benches in the last four. So it's it's fascinating to see this come about. It was Tyrod, Danny Amendola, uh, Davis. They all love squats. They're giving you the professional answer. Okay. Well, Danny There's was just no saying because it makes my legs look good and I can wear those short shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like them for that reason. But other than that, no. Not a squats guy. Fair enough. Uh, what's the greatest invention ever? Probably the wheel. The wheel? It's a good one. It's a good one. Not Slurpees? Or <laughs> no, not Slurpees. I've never been a bit of Slurpee guy. You don't like frozen drinks? Not really. Not, uh, like, does it not, make your teeth cold? Like, does it, yeah, it, yeah, I mean, it's just not really my thing. I, I'm not like a sugar guy. Really. Not a sugar guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, fair, enough, fair enough. But I just think about, there's, I, I hate walking everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, I've, 
been with, you know, I have friends that love hikes. I have friends that You're not like, about that. No. I don't like walking. You're never going to win a steps never, challenge never, contest. Never, ever. Okay, fair enough. So the wheel. I, I need to I need to be like transport. Yeah, All right, I'm well, a little bougie like that in that aspect. Well, let's wrap this up really cheesily. <laughs> let's hope you keep rolling on the field yeah. like a wheel. This has been Kamu Gruje Hill. Hey, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck to you. Awesome, we always man. enjoy doing this with Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.